What's up, everybody? What's up? Go. Oh. All right, so I just got here to the yard, picking up, picking up my trailer, and you can see. Look at how high that sucker is. I mean, like, what in tarnation? Mm. Yeah. But, so I had my truck in the shop while I was moving uh, Brianna to San Antonio, and I got some new rubber. I got three new tires. So, when I got this truck, my driver's side steer tire is new I just got this one uh, brand new and I got two rear brand new tires and this one was already brand new when I got the truck as well so I'm gonna go back here and check the seal real quick No love on the room through here, big old fat boy like me. I tell you. Oh. Let's check out. Oh, these tires look good. Brake chambers look good. Got the mud flat. Four two six six nine. That's it. That's right. Got the mud flap over here. Look, oh, I'm telling you guys, ain't no love on the between the trailers this time. So. Let's go up here. Get the gloves. And get the cranking. I'll be right back. Alright. We got the landing gear up. Done a little free trip on a trailer. Now we're going to go back here. Check out the lights. Put the lock on it. The lights are working there. All the lights are working there. Sweet. Turn signal got going on over there. And then we got it going on over here. So we are good to go. We are good to go. All right. Woo. Let me see if this will sit up here. I'm going to pull out. I've already done my tug test. Bumping right here. So I'm headed to Clayton. North Carolina. Sorry for the vibration, guys. It's on the dash, so.
I can't do nothing better than spending my day with you. My life's sunny and better, girl, when I'm with you. She illuminates so bright like a star in the skylights. She got the looks, the good, oh boy, I need her so bad in my life. Shawty, where you wanna go, 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 go? London, Paris, Tokyo, oh, shawty, we could go. Don't need no luggage, na 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 na. Don't need no stress, girl, na 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 na. Just being your sun's alright, sun's alright, girl. I want nobody but you. 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 Well, good morning from Clayton, North Carolina. I got up here uh, late last night and the last time I came here, I asked the security up front because there's like four or five different uh, companies within this compound, as you see Dollar General right there. But uh, <coughs> Coca-Cola is another big one. They told me there was no overnight parking here. Um, but last night I didn't get here until about 9.30. And I actually parked. You see where that truck right there is. I parked pretty close to where he's at. And nobody said anything. Nobody did anything. And uh, got a good night's sleep. We got Whiskey Pete over here. So just getting out of the truck, doing a little bit of uh, walking. It's a little muggy out this morning actually. Foggy. Of course we had a bad storm come through here last night. Um, actually before I even got here, I, went, I ran through it and uh, I got a video um, to kind of give you an idea of how bad it was. Yeah, but this is a uh, evidently the uh, North Carolina distribution centers, or one of them, for uh, Heaven Hill. It's called LB and B. I have no idea what it stands for, but you can see waiting on the waiting on the green light. Seems like the the story, but I would rather have that instead of uh, you know them basically just messing around and not telling you because a lot of the, a lot of companies you go to and they say follow the system the red light green light and sometimes when they uh, finish the release doesn't drop down and it doesn't turn green and I only say that because that's happened to me uh, here recently it's happened to me several times but here recently in Bowling Green I and mean, I sit there for probably an extra 45 minutes and he came back out and he said well your truck's been uh, finished for a while why are you still sitting here then he looked and saw it was still red and yeah so a lot of places right now are just uh will bring your paperwork out to you or use the red light green light system i tell you what with the rain that i went through last night i am super glad I got my my tires replaced because man it was bad 
And when I say it was bad, it was, uh, you know, there were several accidents. Uh, mostly, it was kind of crazy because most of the accidents were on the, uh, the slow lane where somebody was trying to get off and didn't get all the way off and the car behind them hit them. Uh, and I've seen a couple of them like that. And it was kind of crazy because you had some people even doing that on the, the fast lane shoulder, which is not ever a good idea that people were trying to get over and, and stop on the shoulder of the fast lane. So I just took my time, stayed safe, and uh, got here, and that's what we're doing. Alright, so I hop back in the truck here, cool off for a minute. These people are pretty quick here. Usually 20, 30 minutes of that, they knock you out and you're done. So after I leave out of here, uh, I'm running over to uh, Charlotte, North Carolina uh, to pick up my backhaul which will take me back to Bardstown. So uh, I got a note, this is the first time I got the, so usually I, my, my backhaul information will, will be on a little piece of paper like this and have me the address and any details that I need. Um, so for this one, and this is the first one I've had like this, but it says the load comes uh, straight back to Heaven Hill and needs to go into a dock. If you're here before 6 a.m., put it in the closest dock to the open, uh, that is open. And if after 6, come in and check with Margaret to see which dock number to put it in. Usually I'll just drop in the yard, then the yard dogs will, um, you know, put it where it needs to go. But, <clears throat> hey, dropping it on the yard or dropping it in the dock, it doesn't matter to me, both the same thing. Uh, you got to drop it somewhere so but so I'm doing all these videos <clears throat> on my old iPhone that uh, for some reason the service I've tried it again and, and the service is is just uh, I don't know I, spotty for some reason and it's real slow so I don't know if it's just where Apple is slowing the odor products down or whatever because this is a 7 plus um, but I'll be getting a new 12 once they roll out um, but until then I figured that I haven't done a whole lot of videos so I want to do uh, get back into the videos and because and the reason why I say that I, I gotta do it on this phone is um, I paid for the uh, premium version of the uh, the video uh, software editing app so I have it on my my Android but it leaves like a little little sign or symbol of their brand or whatever on it and that's all right but that, that just drives me nuts so so this is what we're gonna do until we get the new 12 and hopefully that uh, everything because the last video I did on here for some reason it uh, it wouldn't let me upload it so I just got tired and and that was back in end of July so we're gonna do it like this and uh, get you guys some content out there to get you a little bit more familiar with uh, what we're doing around here because got some pretty cool places that I've been to um, and just when I think that you know I've kind of got the routine down of you know Raleigh North Carolina Richmond Virginia uh, you know just different places they send me somewhere that I hadn't been uh, for example Two weeks ago, they sent me to uh, Mississippi. Uh, I hadn't been there yet, so that was the first time for there. 
Uh, been to Alabama once, so so now I'm hoping to uh, to get a couple of uh, West Coast runs since Bree's out to Texas now. So we shall see. I don't know yet, but uh, they told me that's not really their lane. But I mean, how are they getting their alcohol out west? I mean, they doing them by boat. I mean, somebody's got to be taking it to them. So I'm gonna check into that. But uh, everything's been good. It was a exhausting week. Uh, I didn't say exhausting. It was it was a fun week, but it was. Uh, getting Bree moved, getting her moved in, get everything hung up for her. Uh, spend a lot of time with her and Zach and their, and my grand dog, Mason. But it was a, it's a nice place, it's a gated community. I'm excited for their, their next uh, adventure. So, So they did a report, and this is pretty cool, and I don't have it with me right here, but um, they do a, uh, a people net report, and I assume it's the same kind of uh, report that Omnitrax can do as far as your idle hours and you know all that stuff, uh, how fast you're running, but this tells you like, so you get a reward, you get a bonus, I should say, if you um, your score is I think 95 or better, and you're graded by uh, your and this is all by your logs, your pre-trip, post-trip, uh, no violations obviously, and on on appointment, uh, on time delivery, and it tells you if you don't it didn't tell you the speed. And I didn't get docked for it, but it said it, it said uh, above speed a certain amount of percentage, and I don't know how they. Uh, I guess how they do that is um, whatever the speed says on the people net that it will it will. Uh, that's how they get the speed as far as you're above speed or whatever. But that people net the people net navigation is garbage I mean it is it was it's bad uh, so I never use it um, so I mean I, I, I tinkered with it when I first got here and the only reason why I did that um, is because like when you go to a place um, the people now has like workflows and when we do workflows it senses when you arrive to your destination um, you know being your old one 02, 90, or whatever it may be. Uh, and that's another thing that I had to kind of, uh, the language that they don't use 01, 02, 90, they just say uh, your delivery and your backhaul. So that's, that's how they communicate, which is fine. But, uh, but after, once you get to a, uh, once it senses that you've reached your destination, uh, a little window will pop up and it'll ask you if you want to navigate to your next delivery because it's already in your workflow. And I always said no because I've been led astray uh, a couple times. So when I say led astray, I mean like by like 10 miles away from the location that I'm actually supposed to be at. This old boy's got a pretty cool little, he's got a little flag on his grill, which is nice. But, I just wanted to kind of let you know that uh, we're going to start doing some more videos and get into a little bit more of everything that, that I like better since being, I ain't going to say it's, I guess, kind of semi-regional versus over the road the pros and the cons but uh, you guys be safe out there uh, thanks for watching 
and uh, just remember to hit the subscribe button the like button the thumbs up thumbs down if you don't like it that's fine with me but uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and the bell if you do like it that way you're getting notified when uh, the new videos are releasing you guys have a good one